The unintended consequence of Mr. Garner's death must have a consequence of its own. Therefore, I agree with the Deputy Commissioner of Trials legal findings and recommendations. It is clear that Daniel Pantaleo can no longer effectively serve as a New York City police officer. That's NYPD Commissioner James O'Neill, who has a very heavy heart and a lot of sympathy for the officer, Daniel Pantaleo, who used an illegal chokehold, illegal, on Eric Garner and murdered him in 2014. It has taken five years, but the, the commissioner didn't hesitate to get in a parting shot at the man who was murdered and who was the victim, whose family is the victim in his press conference, because that's what's important here, protecting the officer's feelings. It's unlikely that Mr. Garner thought he was in such poor health that a brief struggle with the police would cause his death. He should have decided against resisting arrest, but a man with family lost his life and that is an irreversible tragedy. Victim blaming. These officers are supposed to be protecting the people. When they don't protect the people, the officers shouldn't be shielded from criticism. I mean, it's the bare minimum that he lost his job here. Eric Gardner and his family are victims. They will never get back the Eric, the member of their family. And now you have the police commissioner going up there and saying, oh, you know, he shouldn't have resisted arrest. Do you know what he was there being arrested for? A lot of people don't even remember. He was selling loose cigarettes on the side of the street. He yelled, I can't breathe, 11 times as he was in that chokehold. 11 times. And yet, the officer maintained the chokehold with his hands around his throat, which is not part of police training. It's an illegal chokehold. So for selling cigarettes, loose cigarettes. It's like the most benign misdemeanor that could possibly exist. And then you have the commissioner still going up there today and making excuses for the officer. An administrative judge previously recommended Pantaleo's termination following an internal disciplinary trial. The judge, a deputy commissioner, found Pantaleo was untruthful during interviews with investigators and had recklessly used force during the fatal encounter. Pantaleo had not faced official sanction for his actions until now, only being placed on desk duty. The Justice Department in July declined to charge Pantaleo with violating Garner's civil rights. A Staten Island grand jury in 2014 declined to indict Pantaleo. Uh, if you know anything about Staten Island, <laughs> the most conservative area of New York City, most conservative borough, that seems about right. So unconscionable in that area too, but at least there is bare minimum justice coming today. By the way, New York, Democratic state obviously, were led by a very corporate Democrat and Andrew Cuomo here, but Bill de Blasio, dude, you ran as a progressive, you're running for president as a progressive because you're term limited. People forget that because um, Mayor Bloomberg was able to extend his term by finagling with the state government there, which is kind of weirdly dictatorial in itself, but I don't want to get off on a tangent. De Blasio, why were you, who ran as a progressive, too afraid to stand up to the police union? And you also ran on the fact that you have a half-black son, and you talked about police brutality in your campaign video. And then, nothing from you. Too scared to stand up to the police union on this issue, who wanted to keep Officer Pantaleo, employed forever, a murderer cop. You know, I'm, I'm sure he feels terribly about it. I'm sure he feels sorry, and that's fine. But you don't get to serve on the force anymore. Absolutely not. So this decision was long, long overdue. But I love, by the way, how Republicans are so anti-union, right? Workers getting together and bargaining against their employer for basic rights and basic pay and benefits. But when it comes to officers, police officers, when unions are able to link arms and protect cops who kill black people who are unarmed like Eric Garner, oh, unions are awesome. The whole situation's gross, but I'm just happy there's an iota of justice today, even though the NYPD commissioner, that parting shot was despicable.